Hi guys, Richard from Forsyth here, and through the years I have collected quite a few pickups, and I thought it would be kind of interesting to go through sort of what I have in my collection, talk about what I'm using a lot of these for, uh, you know, what the plans are with them, so on and so forth. <clears throat> so, right off the bat, the newest set I got, and I'm relying on the autofocus of this camera over here, so hopefully it looks good. Uh, is a DiMarzio Twin King set. So this is the chopper, which goes in the bridge of a telly. And this is the actual Twain King neck pickup. So both of these are awesome telly pickups because I have a telly project I'm working on. So I thought I'd show these off first. But most of these I've acquired through doing various jobs for people. Um, you know, being a guitar tech, a lot of times people will want to take a little bit off their bill and say, hey, you know, if I give you the old pickups, will you take something off the bill? I almost always say yes, because I can find reasons to use them. However, over time, they do build up. A lot of these are out of personal projects too, so I'll buy new pickups, pull the old ones out, and keep the old ones. I'm kind of at critical mass in the studio though. I need to start getting rid of some things, so maybe we'll give some of these away but not these. So these are in DiMarzio cases. You can see that, but these are actually from a client. So he had me to install a crunch lab and a liquefier into his Schecter C1. And I got from him, let's see, which one is this? SH4, the 59, Seymour Duncan. These are very, very, uh, very good pickups. People love the Seymour Duncan 59 and JBs, and that's what these are. I'm also kind of making this video because I love talking gear with you guys. So tell me if any of these pickups are things you like or if you have a specific type of pickup you like to use. I know I've uh, met a lot of you guys recently who are more into the single coils, which I think is cool. Not a lot of... People are like that these days. A lot of guys, these rock and roll dudes, are all about the humbuckers. So, if you look around the room, maybe not in this video, but in some other ones, a ton of what I have uh, in my guitars are dual humbucker setups, but a lot of them are splittable with the single coil. This is an EMG 707 active pickup. And I got this to go in an agile guitar I was working on. And then I ended up getting a set of Jeff Loomis <laughs> signature Seymour Duncan actives. So those ended up going in there instead. Now you guys remember the Chipson guitar? Well, we may do some more work on that Chipson here soon. But I, I don't like it. So I ended up making a deal with a buddy of mine. He's going to buy it. But I got this pickup for it. This is the neck pickup. It's an Alnico from Guitar Madness. You've heard me talk about Guitar Madness on the channel before. Those guys uh, offer cheaper pickups. They're still weighty, so they got a high copper content. They're good, good sounding pickups. I've used them in a few different guitars. So we may still put these in the neck and bridge of that guitar, because in my opinion, they could use it. These are a set of EMG HZs. These are a set of EMG HZs that I got out of an old, and they're kind of dirty, an old Court C600, I believe, 600T. Beautiful purple guitar. Maybe I'll stick a picture up. But I replaced it with the uh, Fender Wide Range pickups because that guitar I wanted to be a little more mellow than these. These are kind of, these HZs are a little bit harsh. Now, if you guys go back a little farther on my channel, you remember that seven string that uh, the guy on Craigslist said had bare knuckles in it. Well, we found out they weren't bare knuckles, right? So we got the guitar stupid cheap. These were whatever cheap pickups were in the guitar or from another guitar that uh, ended up getting shaved down. Right, I don't know if I ever updated you on that guitar. I need to do a video because I found the original owner. I found the guy who bought that guitar from Agile, from Rondo, Rondo Music. 
So I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. These are probably just garbage pickups. Maybe we'll give them away if you if somebody wants them. I don't know. We'll see. But you can see how the plate even has been cut on these. So they're just kind of garbage. I guess that's a sign of a hoarder though. You keep keep stuff that you think you might use one day and you end up never using it. And then you die and somebody goes on uh, American pickers and rifles through your stuff. All right, so let's see, what is this here? Some of these boxes I don't know. Okay, so this is just an acoustic pickup. It's a preamp I bought for whatever reason. Nothing real important there, but it comes with a battery. That's kind of cool. This is just a cheap, cheap Chinese acoustic preamp. Not going to worry about that one. Now these, you see they say Schecter on them as well. Um, another buddy of mine with the Schecter, which is kind of weird that, you know, Schecters, I guess, end up having their pickups replaced a lot. But another buddy of mine had a seven string Schecter. Uh, he wanted his pickups replaced. Honestly, I can't remember what we put in there. It was not this Nazgul and Sentient said that's in something else. But um, these are actually not bad sounding pickups. I mean, they're stock, stock Schecters, but the, the quality is there. Um, they're built pretty well. Let me see if I can show you one real quick. So they even got the uh, Schecter Diamond Series stamped in the back. So they're built pretty well. Um, they're good pickups. If you're like me and you tweak everything, you know, I can't blame the guy for replacing them. But uh, are there any stock pickups you guys particularly like? Are there any guitars that, uh, that you're a big fan of? All right. I'll speed this along. There's a lot. This whole bucket is full. So this is a quad, quad bucker, quad rail guitar pickup for a Fender project I'm working on. Do you guys remember the cross country guitar swap? These are going in that. I got two of them. This might be the other one. Yes, this is the other one. I got two of them. They're going in that guitar. Uh, I got those from Guitar Madness. They're very interesting pickups. Since this one fell over, let's take a look. This is a BC Rich. BC Rich humbucker. The neck. Um, a little lighter, you know, only uh, you got your your bear and your uh, hot pickup on that. That's all there is to it. Uh, I can guarantee you this came from one of the 100 Warlocks I'm working on. So, which we have some Warlock coming up, uh, Warlock info and stuff coming up soon. Here is the bridge pickup that goes with that one. Moving right along, here is a set of blacked out Mega Metals. These have some weight to them. These are from uh, Guitar Heads on eBay. So if you go on eBay, there's this company called Guitar Heads. They go in and out, in and out of stock. These blacked out ones were on a special sale. And I got them that day, so they were like 50 bucks for the set. Or 55 maybe. Um, those are going in a... I haven't decided. I have two guitars they might go in. Now this is an old Seymour Duncan Invader Detonator ripoff that I have had sitting around for 10 years probably. I don't really know what to do. I don't think I have two of them. I think I only ever got the one. Um, so yeah, if you're familiar with the Invader or the Detonator that's what this was ripping off. It's a little light. It's probably doesn't have uh, anywhere close to that ripping sound of the real detonators. Probably just sounds like one of these BC Rich pickups. Now this is a bag of guitar parts, obviously, that came from a guitar I was redoing in black and gold. That guitar got messed up. So I am left with this bag of parts. Check these out. These are uh, probably Dragon Fires. They're meant to look somewhat like DeMarzio's. And there's two of them. And they're just another another set of humbuggers. But yeah, you know, so I'm kind of showing you guys now that there are 
there are obviously the big guys out there as options, the DiMarzios and stuff, but there's a ton of cheaper options out there too that are really good. Um, and Dark Star pickups, uh, a friend of mine who is also a guitar tech swears by those. They're the, uh, what's the name of the brand? I don't know. They're, they're on eBay if you look them up. Now this is an old pickup from some old project. This is, oh, you know what this is from? Holy crap. I hope that focuses. This is from the uh, Takai Star that I did a long time ago when I was first doing guitar work on the channel. Um, gosh, what was that guitar? Uh, it was, that was a hilarious guitar. I'll see if I can find some footage from that to put up maybe, or some pictures. This one, I have no idea. Yeah, just a random, random humbucker. Random humbucker, no idea. I'm moving right along. I know I got a lot to go through. Here's an Epiphone neck pickup that I was messing around with different finishes one day, trying to do like a distressed looking thing on it. A little bit of fire stuff, trying to make it look interesting. That's from an Epiphone, probably, probably like a special two or something. That's a 50 mil pickup. Which, if you guys are not familiar with pickup spacing, you don't want a 50 millimeter pickup if you have a tremolo on your guitar. If you have a uh, Floyd Rose style trim, you want a 52 millimeter, something wider. This one has God knows what on it. That's uh, a little bit disturbing. I don't know what that is. I think that was a rubber band at one point. Uh, this is just some kind of vintage cheapo pickup I pulled out of some project guitar, I'm sure. I have some standard crappy old bass pickups. These were sitting at almost outside. They were sitting in an old shed somewhere, so those are kind of gross. Another acoustic. Do you guys remember the worst guitar in the universe? I'm sure a lot of you uh, unsubscribed because you haven't seen any updates on that in a long time. Yeah, this is one of those pickups. I kept it mainly for well, A, for posterity, but B, because I kind of want to find more of these style pickups. They're kind of interesting to me. Little single coils. Speaking of single coils, here is a Squire single. I can tell because I think this came out of my uh, making a Squire into a Super Strat guitar. I think that was the mid pickup because the cords, the wires are not long enough for it to be the neck pickup. Oh, look at this. I do. I do have the other one that goes with that uh, detonator ripoff. <laughs> nice. Okay, so here we go. This is an EMG 85, but it's probably not the kind that you guys are used to. This is an old version with the epoxy that is brown instead of black. You can see that and the big old EMG 85 on there. Uh, at this point, I honestly don't know what guitar this came out of, but I can almost guarantee you it was some 80s butt rock pointy guitar. Almost guarantee that. By the way, somebody on my channel said, uh, you are the king of the butt rock guitars. And that, that has stuck with me. That means a lot to me. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I didn't take the covers, the plastic, off the top of these. These are some Zebra pickups that, uh, I, again, I don't know what they came out of. And I don't imagine I would have bought these for anything. This is weird being a guitar tech, you know. Like, I was talking to a guy the other night who had... Who I had met before, but I could not remember the dude. And he was swearing up and down. He bought a guitar from me, and I said, "Sir, you know, I apologize. I I don't remember you because I've sold like a hundred guitars this year alone already. So I can't can't possibly remember them all. But I, I stayed and watched his band play anyway. He's a good dude. Okay, so here are a set of pickups out of. I believe these were the stock. Were they the stock in my one of my other Agiles? I don't know. I've had a few different guitars, and these were a set of stock pickups that came out of it. This is the bridge. This is the neck. This one obviously looks more like a Demarzio. This one uh, just looks like your standard kind of standard kind of pickup. <laughs> so, I am going to organize all these. I actually have a organizer to put them all in. 
So here's just a standard zebra humbucker out of what, I don't know. Here is a like a J-Base kind of uh, bridge pickup. Also have some bridges and other parts in here too. This is a Gibson pickup. Gibson USA. It's got the vintage uh, braided shielding wire. Um, this came out of a buddy's guitar who let me have it. And I cannot remember the guitar either. I know it was a Les Paul. I just don't know what kind. Probably a studio. I don't know. I should really count all these pickups and see what I, see what I got. Here we have one, just a stock pickup that I was, I think, testing a cover on that ended up not fitting. Said it was 52 millimeter. It seems like it's a little bigger than 52 millimeter. Got some more base single coils. Just standard dual pole. Kind of cool. Not sure what those go to. We got some more base single coils, but not humbucker. These are going to be in the mid position or neck neck position. I have, it's kind of funny, I was making a guitar plate for the worst guitar in the universe and I wanted to put my thumbprint on it. It did not come out as good as I hoped, so I will probably try that again. Here is a big old quarter pounder base, base pickup, honestly. A knockoff, I'm sure. Big old beefy guy for a four string. Here's interesting. This is a active single coil that I got to put in. You guys remember my copper finish guitar, the apocalypse looking copper guitar. That one needed an active pickup. But I put the regular non active single coil that was already in the guitar, the Ibanez, back in it, and it sounded really good. Even combined with the. Uh, the active, so I never put this in. Now this one says HMV. So there is a guitar from Washburn called the HMV, but that is not where this came from. This is a cheap Chinese guitar. I don't know what it is. Che guitar pickup. Here is another cheaper guitar pickup. <laughs> another humbucker. You can mix and match. Just do all kinds of stuff. Here is another EMG 85, but this is a more modern one. So here's here's the difference. Let's see if I can find that other one. I'll let you guys see. First off, this 85 is all worn out. The one on top, the one on the bottom. You can still read the logo all right. And then the biggest differences are here on the back. See the difference in the resin. And this one has the actual plug, like the the plug and play wiring. So there's the solderless kit, so you can. Do it like that. So, yeah, pretty interesting there. Getting quite the pile out here. Here's another set of, uh, let's see, what does this say? Fender USA pickups, 50 bucks. So these are from a Fender USA base, perhaps. Perhaps. Obviously, I love guitar pickups, but I have too many. Here is an old single coil. I don't know what guitar this came out of. No freaking idea. Check it out. It's got the two, three actually, ceramic bars, or maybe this one just broke. Ceramic bars going around the pole pieces. It's kind of interesting. And finally, I'm surprised we got to this one last. But uh, this is a really cool pickup. Now, this pickup does not work. Um, a buddy of mine wanted me to do some work on a guitar of his, and I replaced it with a pretty standard humbucker. He just said, basically, whatever you have lying around, replace it. We've talked about before how these older pickups, you'll have the dual adjustment with the uh, screws there. This is from the 1970s, and it is out of a Japanese-made guitar which I believe was a Dion and I'll see if maybe I can find a picture I don't know if I still have a picture of it but that was such a cool guitar and the only reason I kept this is because I kind of thought to myself this would be a cool pickup worth rewinding one day 
but it has a short in it somewhere. Um, it doesn't obviously work, but uh, it's it's vintage, man. Look at the size of this plate. Wraps all the way up around the bottom. The bobbin goes to the bottom like that. There is a ceramic pickup stuck in there. I really hope this thing is focusing or this whole video is crap. But uh, so shall we count them as we put them back in the box? Here is one of the other worst guitar in the universe pickups. Oh yeah, and I have over here. Another EMG 707 for a seven string. So that would complete that set, I guess, if I wanted to put them in there. And then I believe this is another set of the Mega Metals. Let's see. Yes, these are a set of white guitar heads, Mega Metals, and you can see the guitar heads logo is on these. So, two, three. Four, five, six, nine, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four